Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, check out the new model I designed. This right here is... It's a square. Look at that. Okay? Well, kind of square. Turn it over, and yeah. Looks kind of neat on the side, okay? And it can be a spinner, like this. Put it on the spinner head. Smooth surface, like this. Alright, just like that. So that's cool. And, what's also cool about it is that it can be like a little picture frame, or maybe some other other frame that you can hold your stuff in right here okay this right here is my ID this is my school ID right here one of my school IDs okay and then you get, I can put it in like this okay and it can be kind of tricky with this okay. alright so yep so you can use for IDs too okay like that okay and yeah We're going to make a pinwheel base, okay? And I'm gonna have the other way, okay? Just like this. Now unfold, and now fold this edge to the center crease right here. Make a door base, okay? And now rotate, and now let's fold this edge. Now fold this edge to the center crease right here, okay? See, that's the center crease, okay? We're gonna fold the short side to the center, okay? Let's fold this edge up first. Doesn't matter what way, that looks the same, okay? Okay, and rotate 180 degrees and fold this edge, you know? Just like this. Okay, like that. Sorry about that, alright. So here we have a square. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna, is we're gonna fold diagonally in half, and we're, so we're gonna hold this point to this point, and hold this down so it doesn't slide. Okay. So this step can be a little tricky. Okay. What's tricky about it is that you have to hold everything. Okay. Just kind of. Okay. But yeah, it can be sharp. Okay. It can get thicker right there. Okay. Depending on what um, what thick paper that you have. Okay. But all right now. Okay. And notice how this gets folded right here. Okay. And that's exactly what you want, okay? Like that. And now it's folded diagonally half the other way, and again, hold it down. Hold this down so nothing slides. Okay? Like this. And make the fold. It, it's it's alright if it slides a little bit. See, it slid just a tad, but that, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal, okay? Alright, now unfold, and let those get folded, okay? Alright, now comes a little fun step. We're gonna do is, is um, we're gonna pull... We're gonna pull the raw edge out. We're gonna pull the raw point out like this. We're, ju we're just gonna pull this point out, okay? Just take it and pull it out like that. Okay? Just like this, okay? And that's what it looks like right there, okay? And now let's do it on this side. Pull it out. Okay? And rotate and do the same thing on this one. Just take it and pull it out like that. And one more time. Okay? And there it is. And now, if you want, you can fold this up like this and fold this down. And guess what? You know what we made? Yep, we made the pinwheel. That traditional pinwheel or something like that. Okay? And yeah, so you can end here if you want, but if you want to make, if you want to keep on going to make this thing, then here it goes. Alright, so, what we're going to do is we're going to squash fold these two flaps, okay? And a squash fold, in case you don't know, is, I'm going to show you how to do, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it is right now, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna, to, um, Fold this up like this and just make it look stick straight up like that, okay? And now we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up like this. We're gonna put our finger inside all the way towards this point right here, but inside, all the way towards the back. And now we're gonna squash it so that this point comes to the middle like that, okay? Just like that. 
and do the same thing all the way around. Okay, so make it so that this sticks straight up and open it up like this, put your finger all the way towards the back and squash it so that this point comes to the middle. Like this, okay? So yeah, that should be fairly easy, okay? Alright, and do the same thing two more times, okay? And I'm gonna go at my own pace for this, okay? Alright, just like that. And that's what it looks like, okay? Alright, now, now we're gonna do is, gonna, is um, we're gonna fold this point to this point right here, okay? So we're folding it back up like that. We're folding it up, okay? And now I'll do the same thing on this one. So let's fold this point to that point. Okay, and two more times. Fold them up like that. All right, just like that, and that's what it looks like right there, okay? So yeah, it looks pretty neat, but yeah, we're not done, okay? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this point to this point right here, okay? Just like this, okay? See, I'm doing it closer so you can see it a bit better, okay? Because yeah, when I zoom in on this camera, it gets kind of blurry if I get if I zoom in too much, okay? So yeah, this is one of those kinds, okay? But when I just hold it up like this, like this, it won't, it shouldn't get blurry, okay? All right, like this. That's what it looks like. And now do the same thing all the way around. So we're gonna fold this point up to here. Oh crud! My camera's on low battery. I'm about to kind of hurry up for this, okay? That's what it looks like, okay? We're almost done anyway, okay? And now let's fold this point to this to that point. Hopefully, I can make it without it without my camera dying, okay? Okay. And one more time, just fold it up like that. Okay, if I zoom in a little bit, it won't get blurry, but it won't get that blurry, but yeah, still. Okay, that's what it looks like right there, okay? All right, now comes the tricky part. We're gonna unfold those flaps. That's not the tricky part, this is the tricky part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open sync those four points all the way inside, okay? So let's do, let's start with this one. So open it up right here, okay? Let's try it again, open it up, okay? And notice um, you'll, You'll see these creases right here. Let's pinch those mountains like this. Try not to get off camera here. Okay. I'm looking at the camera, so it's a little bit tricky for me. Okay. And now, like that, and close it up and fold those points down like that. Okay. And now see that all the way around. So open it up until you see those creases. Those three creases. One, two, three. And pinch the mountains. Okay. Okay, just like that, and reclose it, okay? Now the other two, I'm gonna go at my own speed, okay? And I'm doing it on the surface, because it's less tiring, and it's easier, okay? Okay, like that. All right, and that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna do is we're gonna fold we're gonna fold these two points out like this. We're just gonna fold them up as far as they go like that. Okay. And do the same thing all the way around. So we're folding over this edge and this edge. We're just folding these up as far as they go. That's all we're doing. Okay. This last one, I'll do it on the surface. Okay. All right. Now comes a kind of tricky step. We're gonna do is um we're gonna um. Take it and we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna tuck this inside this slot. So just take it and refolding it but tucking it inside. That actually wasn't so bad. But yeah, but it may be a bit tricky for beginners, okay? But alright, so now and now let's do the same thing all the way around. So the second one, unfold it and and tuck it in like that, okay? See? Then see, we got rid of those two flaps, okay? So they're not there. Well, they're there, but they're just inside, okay? And do the same thing all the way around, okay? Just tuck them inside like that. This is actually fairly easy out of big paper. If you're doing it out of small paper or something like that, then it's kind of challenging, I think. I didn't, I never done this out of small paper, but I'm thinking it's kind of challenging, okay? 
and I'm thinking it's easier at a bigger paper. This is easy for me, okay? This is just the right size, I think, okay? This paper that I'm using is like 10 inch or something. I don't know how many inches it is, but yeah, exactly. But all right, so that's what it looks like right there, okay? And all right, so they both look kind of similar, but notice how this one is has all these creases right here. That's because because I collapsed it, okay? But yeah, to collapse it into the diamond or the square, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a square base. So let's fold this up, and this is how I like to make the square base, okay? Fold in half, and now let's fold this edge to this edge, and turn over, and let's fold this edge to this edge. Okay, and now let's um, put your hand inside here, put your finger inside there, and flatten it down like that. So there's a square base. Okay, now I can see this creases. Okay. And also, if you want to make the square base, there's many different ways you can make it anyway. You can turn over, and what you can do is you can just take the, the two straight creases right here, and you, you can do it like that, and then like that. So that's faster, okay? But yeah, all right, and it's a spinner, okay? But as I said before, it might spin better on a more, on a more smoother surface. <laughs> yeah, you like this bug look? I know, I love it. I love the way it looks right there. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, and remember you can use to hold pictures or IDs in it. Like this. Okay, like that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Alright, well I hope you guys managed to fold that. It's a little bit tricky, but um yeah, it's a pretty cool model. It's pretty psyched about it. I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Alright, well, hope you guys like that, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye.